What's up everyone, it's Legend X Jordan and today I have another reaction video for y'all. Today we're going to be reacting to the new Apex Legends Season 14 Hunted Gameplay Trailer. Pretty excited about this one because we're finally about to see how Vantage actually plays in the game. We're about to be seeing all the different changes we're going to be getting in Season 14. And of course the new changes we'll be getting to Kings Canyon, so I'm pretty excited about that. But of course, before we start this reaction video, if you guys do enjoy it, please be sure to drop it a like to help support the channel. And don't forget to check out my other videos and subscribe for more Apex content. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump right into this reaction. In the ring. Okay. You are hey. Oh, new Costa skin? Why is Rampart going stupid? She about to get some kind of buff or skin or something? Okay. Hold up. Hold up. Yo, why she run like that? <laughs> she runs so goofy. Yo, that passive is kind of crazy. She really can see everything like as if she always has Sears stuff on. That's kind of cool. Sears, uh, tactical. Didn't need binoculars to see that coming. I thought it was going to be a little aggravated dealing with her, but hey, Skull Town is back. Or will you be forced to kneel? Okay, new battle pass. We do this. Man, they really changed the cage. Cage doesn't have the top part now. Yo, this Cossack skin. So his Cossack must be the like the level 50 level cap increase. Okay, but to what now though? Oh, so now it's like a prestige kind of thing. We start back from one. Okay, so that must be her tactical being able to fly over to her bat. Okay, a lot kind of happened. That was actually pretty quick, but hold on. Let's actually go back through, see if there's anything that we miss. I'm still kind of tripping how goofy <laughs> Vantage runs. I was like, I was kind of all putting. <laughs> you are always and I don't know what this big emphasis on Rampart was in the beginning, because at first I thought she was going to have something special happen. <laughs> and hunt it. I guess to them that must be how they feel we act when we get to the drop in Skull Town. <laughs> Yo, okay, hold on, stop. We 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 have to do this in slow motion. Why homegirl run? Why she run like that? <laughs> Yo, that is hilarious. Okay. She runs. Kind of goofy to me, but we're, we're, we're going to start roasting her. We're going to start roasting her. She's young. She's a kid. Okay, this passive, though, that's crazy. So she's going to be able to see... There's three shields, though. That's the thing that's confusing me. There's three shields on here. So, like, are we seeing, like, everyone on their team shields? Awareness is everything. Interesting, but that's her passive though. I guess anytime she aimed down sight, she can see the shields of everyone on that person's team. And then we have her tactical here from the looks. She sends out Echo and she can teleport or jump to Echo, which is her bad. And then this is her old, where she has a sniper that zooms up to eight times from the looks of it. And she has five different bullets she can use to shoot. First. Do not underestimate this young woman from the wilds of Pagos. I'm curious to see how this is going to play out. Coming. We finally have a second legend, though, with an ultimate as a weapon, though. Kind of curious to see what else they add. Um, if they add any more legends like that. And actually, hold on. Let's take a second to look at Skull Town, though. Because it's not exactly the way it was before with like really, really tall buildings from the look at it. I mean, granted, the buildings weren't like stupid tall before, but like they definitely were taller than what we're seeing here. So that's one different change. Then we have Cage. Cage is missing like the top portion now. 
from the looks of it. So that's a bit different. I'm pretty sure this area had houses. <laughs> like, there was houses over here somewhere. This is that area, uh, uh, what's the best way to put it? Uh, God, I forgot the name of it, I cannot remember. But this is actually a place that people would often uh, go to though, because there's two houses here. Yeah, there's two houses here and there was a respawn beacon down towards the bottom. So it looks like they got rid of the houses that were there before. To kneel? All right, it looks like we're gonna have a level 50. Either a level 50 or a level 25 Cosset skin right here. That's a legendary. Oh, and I just realized, I just peeked that. Okay, look. So the reactive skin is gonna be a triple take. For science. I'm ready. Okay, that's pretty cool. We're up. Brilliant. Incredible. Miraculous. All right, then here's another look at the Cosset skin. Like I said, it should be level 25 or level 50. Miraculous thing. Looking for me. I can't tell if this is a legendary race skin or not. That might be legendary too, so that might be the yeah. other the other one. I've seen this all before. I'm just and then it looks like we're gonna be at a prestige now, go from Survival level 500 back to level right. one. And I know I said I'll start roasting, but <laughs> why is this just gonna Survival's run like this? <laughs> So she launches towards the bat though and then boosts again off it from the looks of it. There's only one rule. Survive. I'm ready to see how people feel about her. I'm gonna have to actually see her play in the game to actually see whether or not she will be aggravating to deal with or not. Cause I mean, most people get aggravated with Rampart's ult depending on if the person using it is actually good. But then when you have different game modes like Armed and Dangerous then all of a sudden her ult is like OP so I mean, I guess Vantage will fit right in the mode like Arm and Dangerous since she's used a sniper, but it depends on how crazy or how good her sniper is because based on previous leaks, it's supposed to be more so kind of like a baby Kraber, like not as good as Kraber, but not, well, better than the Sentinel. So I guess we'll have to wait and see, but all in all, things are looking pretty interesting. I did see that they uh, released some patch notes, so I do definitely want to go over that possibly in another video, but... Really curious to see uh, what all season 14 is going to hold as far as like the collection event as well and the thematic event that we'll eventually be getting. And then uh, if there's any changes they make mid-season as well. So what did you guys think about the new uh, season 14 gameplay trailer? Are you guys excited for Vantage, excited for everything that we're supposed to be getting for season 14? Please be sure to let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, if you all enjoyed this video, please be sure to drop a like to help support the channel. And don't forget to check out my other videos and subscribe for more Apex content. This is Legend X Ronin. Stay humble, and I'll see you all in the next video. Oh, I'm supposed to talk to her little bat friend. Oh yeah, she look lost. <laughs> she looks so lost. Oh girl, girl had a Mozambique. Yeah, she's definitely lost. <laughs>